Spider food. What does spider food mean? Spider food. Spider food, spider food. So words that are included often hidden in a way in website so that internet search engines um, list the website near the top of search list. So site maps and hypertext links are spider food for search engine robots. Spider food is a words, it's not food, yeah? It's words that are included. They are included within an algorithm which is within a search engine, but often hidden. We call them spider food, spider because referring to the web, yeah? Feeding the web, feeding the internet algorithm, yeah? Spider food, words that are included, often hidden in a website, yeah? So that internet search engines list the website near the top of search results. So that's what that mean. Uh, yeah, it's like a technical one. This is academic English. But guess what? It's also a general English in different settings. So it's worth uh, knowing. Spider food, yeah? It's not a food, yeah? Um, you might mean spider food. Food you give to spiders to eat if you're like a spider in enthusiast or spider obsessed someone obsessed with spiders or insects in general thanks for following thank you all for following please make sure to share the live stream meanwhile share the room let others know get to know us and make sure you follow us on facebook youtube tiktok as well um because on tiktok we take it to the next level feel free to come there and join us and get to know others and practice your English even more and more. Come on stage, discuss different topics. This is the next one, yeah? Next step, next level. You get to meet people, real people, uh, and practice your English even more and more and more with real uh, people. So spider food, that was the third one. I'm not gonna focus on it that much, but keep in mind it does exist. It's words hidden from an algorithm or a search engine. You know what search engine mean? So search engine, search, sorry about that. Search engine. engine yeah search engine for example google has got a it's got a search engine see when you go on the google panel and you write something it's a search engine yeah search engine da, da, da. let me have a look if there is something um but otherwise don't worry we're gonna go back to it when we do the word spider yeah spider we've done animal series but we're gonna deal with the word spider uh in another in other live stream we're gonna break down all the meanings or all the related or relevant uh meanings to the word spider but for now because it's got food and then i get you to remember when we've done the word food we've done the word spider food yeah that's how you confirm what you learn yeah so Let's head back to the video mode. Uh, spider food. Uh, there is another kind of like famous also, uh, also a famous collocation. You know what collocation means? That's what we do as well. We don't do phrasal verbs or vocabulary or uh, kind of like um, um, just grammar. What um, unfortunately, usually English learners or another language learners, they do, they just memorize words because you don't know. That's why you, you need mentorship. You know what mentorship means? Someone to monitor your work, to monitor you while you're learning a language, yeah? Either like this live stream, free, or you send gifts or whatever, or you can just learn, that's it. You don't need to pay money or whatever. By just watching, yeah? In, getting interested in that thing and you learn, that's it. So we've got street food. You hear about that here and there. So we've got street food. Street food. Street uh, food. Street food. 
Yeah, street food, yeah, street food. So what does that mean? Food that is cooked and sold in public places, in public places. So if you're talking to someone in Sweden or in Norway or whatever, and you tell them street food, they might, you might get a, a different reaction, yeah? It's common in your culture, but for them, it's not common, yeah? So you might get like a different reaction. So uh, that's why you uh, need to learn, yeah? What does that mean in Anglo-Saxon culture, in English, yeah? In English-speaking mind, street food. So you know when to use it, yeah? And you kind of like expect reactions. Someone in Japan or whatever, in a country where street food is not famous, is not common. So they might take an action, uh, maybe a negative action of that. When you tell them street food, they'd be like, "Is it, are you sure it's safe? Are you sure it's healthy? So expect all of that because in the Anglo-Saxon mind, um, it's some it's public places. For them, public places, not for selling food. Selling food is shops, supermarkets, or whatever, restaurants, yeah? So, whereas you, for example, in India or China or whatever, street food is common. It's just a different way to kind of like manufacture food and sell food, yeah? So, street food is food that is cooked and sold in public places. Usually outdoors, yeah? You've got indoor and outdoor. Indoor, outdoor. Usually outdoors to be eaten immediately. So careful, yeah? So if you go eat street food, maybe you leave it until later, yeah? Here in the UK, you buy food from supermarket, frozen food, yeah? You leave it to the frost and then you cook it. Or it's cooked already but frozen, yeah? But you leave it the, to the frost for like two, three, four hours and then you eat, it's fine, still fine. Whereas you go to down to India and you buy street food and you take it with you and you leave it in the kitchen You're not interested in food or whatever and then when you get hungry after four hours You eat it and you be hospitalized you get hospitalized you go to hospital and you got food We done that food intolerance or food poisoning case. Yeah, and then you'd be like oh uh, Food in India is horrible. I had food poisoning. No because you're meant also to eat it immediately that's it you have to eat it immediately in the anglo-saxon mind you have to eat street food immediately because it's already there outdoors exposed to heat or whatever um some you know germs or whatever um so street food i can see honey coming hi to you honey sorry man I'm kind of like maybe in the middle of the delivery thing. Maybe I'm even leaving. <laughs> so sorry, honey. Yeah. Um, uh, one of our regulars from Palestine. Um, Palestine without the that star. Yeah, the Jordanian star. Similar flag to Jordan, but obviously two different people. Yeah. So. Um, Read our guide to the world's best cities for street food. That's an example. A street food market in some cultures. Hi to you, honey. Nice to see you. A street food market, Malaysia or whatever, these countries, they have street food markets. A market, how about you? I'm all right. Thank you, honey. I'm all right. I'm more than in the middle of delivering something. So it has been, I has, have I been, Live stream for like 45 minutes so far. I'm doing all right, watching obviously football uh, while live streaming. So a range of delicious street foods, that's another example. Uh, yeah. Ta -ta -ta. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't go about the other meanings because they're like, um, yeah, they might be not interested for you just now. So, uh, yeah, let me have a look. Yeah, I've got this one. I want to do this one. Yeah, so we've got uh, the next one is a whole food. A whole food. We, uh, it is written this way. 
with W, yeah? W, whole food. So be careful here. This is a pronunciation or spelling uh, window, yeah? Course, yeah? I'm not a linguist. I'm just helping you. If you need like extra help with your pronunciation, I recommend you to get in touch with a linguist, yeah? Someone who could do linguistics as well. They might be an English teacher, but also they are qualified in linguistics, yeah? Especially with my so-called Scottish accent, it doesn't help. But I could help you with this one. A difference between yeah so the first one means the total entire food yeah entire entire the second one we done that when you done the word rabbit a rabbit digs or borrow yeah to borrow to dig or to borrow something in the ground yeah a hole rabbit hole a rabbit hole it's a hole in the ground made or borrowed by a rabbit borrow with you not with oh borrow to borrow this is something else but we've got borrow borrow yeah so here the pronunciation is the same can you see my whiteboard could you please confirm yeah so a hole and a hole same pronunciation but different meanings please be careful hole and a hole this is the craziness of English language, but they mean they've got both different meanings, whole and a whole, yeah? So let's head back to the word whole food. What does a whole food mean? I've got here a good explanation. Food that has not had any of its natural features taken away or any artificial substances added, yeah? So we've got, for example, a whole food shop 